rocks have fallen down, but these corners are still standing. They're still standing above the, the debris field. And again, in this one, right at the top center, we see, again, a corner still surviving. So we've got to ask the question, how are those columns taken down? And as I've, said, I've talked about the charges that were placed on those corners. This one is perhaps the most obvious. Uh, again, I'm going to show you two photographs. The first one, the black line beside the red triangle, the black vertical line beside the uh, red triangle, shows us a piece of those corner sections still surviving after the, the collapse has progressed beyond it. And we see the distinct white flash that's centered exactly on that column. If we move on just a few parts of a second, we can still see the bottom of the vertical column still remaining. The area which was above the white flash has gone. Again, that was taken down. The final stage of the collapse was the, the core. And again, as we, these are the final core columns falling over, that core remnant that I showed earlier on, those are finally being fo uh, fallen over. Now again, the white smoke, the eddies of white smoke trailing behind these columns as they fall. You see, the, the, these flashes, are, this is probably uh, accentuated by this photograph, but we see these distinct white ends on these columns. When you break a piece of steel, you don't get white ends. Something else caused that other than just the fracture. And you should also note the, the remarkable straightness of these columns. If these columns were buckled and bent and torn over, uh, you would expect them to exhibit that. You would expect to see bends. But what we actually do see is long, straight sections with very clean-cut ends. So the, the towers were brought down by a series of, uh, of by four phases of attack. The first attack was a complete horizontal severance through all 47 core columns. Second attack was on the outer core columns to take out those, uh, the, the strongest core columns in the building, every third floor placed adjacent to the welds. The outer structure, the corners of the outer structure were taken back down by incendiary charges, every 15 to 20 storeys, four per, four per storey situated in the corners. And the final section of the, of the collapse of the destruction was to finally put paid to the remaining core columns. There is much more evidence that I can show you. Um, uh, obviously, time constraints mean that I've had to zip through this very quickly and pick out the best pieces of evidence to show you. But there's many more pieces of evidence. There's many more questions that remain unanswered. There are some photographs that, quite honestly, I've stood and stared at them for hours on end, and I cannot figure out what I'm looking at. The more people we have looking at those, the more likely we are. There's questions to ask, like, why were over a thousand bodies completely unrecoverable? From a gravity-driven collapse, we know that in an earthquake, People are dug up alive for days afterwards. Bodies are found, bodies are found in gravity-driven collapses. In this one, over a thousand bodies, no trace whatsoever, no DNA trace. Where did they go? And there's one final point that I'd like to make. Um, it's easy to talk about the towers in technical terms. It's easy to say, for instance, that the first volume to be crushed was the volume between the 80th and the 95th floors. But every so often there's a wee voice at the back of your head just says, remember there were people in there at the time, still alive. And remember there was people who walked into those buildings, knowingly walked into danger, just the same as they do every day in countries throughout the world. And they don't do it for personal gain other than their wages. They don't do it for personal glory. They just do it to help people. This was their reward. And that's the question that I'm going to ask you tonight. Are we going to let that stand? 
We're just going to shrug our shoulders and walk away. That's the question I'm asking you. I'd like to thank you for coming. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much. <laughs>